Grand Seiko keeps making these modern 44JS case design watches and it makes me very, very angry. Have they seen what 44JS uh, looks like? Does it look anything like uh, what they're making? Okay, maybe just a little. We'll talk about it. But also, I'm gonna show you an old vintage watch that Seiko used to make that looks almost exactly like a modern 44JS case watch. So it keeps watching. Let's take a look at the recent 44JS uh, case uh, watch that uh, Hodinke wrote about. So we can see clearly in the title that they say this is 44JS case, right? Okay, so uh, let's take, at, uh, take a look at these pictures. So by the way, beautiful watch, there is nothing wrong with it, great size grammar of design love it right but let's take uh, yeah this is the picture yeah so let's take a look at this picture because we will be uh, using this picture to compare it to the real 44js uh, watch and we are lucky because uh, Hodinki actually wrote another article uh, about real uh, 44js watch from 1960s and yeah kind of like right from here you see this is a different watch right but let's compare there is a different picture here on Hodinki article this picture right so you kind of see immediately this this is not the same watch right but what we're gonna do is let us uh put both watches in, on the same screen uh, so we will talk about differences and you need to understand yes yeah, so that there are some similarities between these two watches but you should understand that all vintage and modern Grand Seikos they kind of look similar because of grammar of design right so it's not there are some similarities but now let's talk about differences like why these two watches they look completely different like this is this is not the same watch right and uh, like okay like if, if you are blind let me show, show you let's take a look what's happening here between the lugs right so uh, you can see on this watch and you can see on real 44 jazz it's like totally totally different design and that's why these watches are totally different now why would you call these two watches the same thing 44JS right now compare this to another vintage watch that Seiko used to make so this watch uh, belongs to my friend Axel uh, and he generously uh, provided these pictures for us so let's put a picture that Axel created uh, side by side uh, with that modern 44J. Axel's uh, watch, it's not a Grand Seiko. It's a vintage King Seiko. It's a vintage King Seiko 45KS. Uh, this is uh, 45 uh, 7000, no date version. Uh, but you can see, like immediately when you see these two watches side by side, is that, yeah, these watches are very similar. So they are not exactly the same, but you can clearly see that uh, this modern watch is much more like 45KS than the real uh, 44JS current sake. Right. Also, uh, I wanted to show you uh, so on uh, Grand Seiko official website. So what they have, they have these collections. And if you select, uh, there is like 44JS collection. Okay, hey, let's let's go there and let's take a look. What's 44JS uh, collection? There is this is 44JS, right? And now let's take a look at all these watches, all these modern watches that they are making and they are calling 44JS. Uh, and let's compare them with, uh, again, with 45KS uh, King Seiko, right? So <laughs> you, can, you can see some similarities, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, and uh, I I don't know why uh, they are doing it, but obviously you can see that this modern uh, uh, watch that they are making it looks much more similar. Exactly, not exactly the same, but it looks much more similar to 45KS King Seiko than 44JS Grand Seiko. I don't get why they keep doing it. Why would you call something which is clearly not 44JS a 44JS? It can't be that nobody at Grand Seiko knows their own history, right? I, I'm so confused here and like every time they make a new watch, I'm getting angry and angry and angry. 
so yeah if you guys know anything like uh, like what's what's the sense in what they are doing please uh, leave it in comments maybe maybe i don't get something uh, but what i see uh, from comments that other people are making on uh, their instagram and on like Hodinke websites uh, it seems like people agree with me that that what shouldn't be called 44js but anyway if you guys know something please uh, Please share in the comments. I, I would love to, to get educated. Um, and also, if you like vintage watches, please subscribe to this channel. Check out this is a great channel about vintage watches. If you are not subscribed, you are seriously missing out.